Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to use charts on Canva, so let's talk about that right now. Okay, so here's what you can do. On your keyboard, press the slash button. If that's not available, press Ctrl plus E. Both of them will cause this pop-up box to appear. And on the search bar of this pop-up box, um, you can type in what you're looking for. And since we're talking about charts today, let's type in chart. And yeah, as you can see, we have a pie chart, bar chart, and a line chart. Choose one that you'd like to use. No worries though, we're going to go through all of them one by one. But first, let's start with the pie chart. Click on it and a beautiful pie chart will be added to your page. So on the side panel, you'll be able to see this kind of like a spreadsheet with two columns uh, where you can input your data. You can replace all the information here one by one by deleting the data on one cell and inputting your data manually in its place. But in case you'd like to delete all of the information at once, then click on this clear data button just below the table and it will automatically clear all the data for you. So now you can start inputting your information right over here. So let's say for example, A is 25%, B is, oh, B is 25% as well. C is 30%, D is 5%, and E is 15%. So yeah, and um, by the way, I added a row by clicking on the last cell. Uh, so say for example like that, if I click on the last cell, it'll automatically add another cell for me. And just like that. But in case you already have your data prepared, saved as a spreadsheet or Excel file, then here are the things you can do. Below the table, you can see these two buttons. Click on Upload CSV if you already have a CSV file prepared so that you won't have to manually input your data here anymore. As for the second button, you can use it if you have a Google Sheet prepared already prepared. By the way, if you click on this button, a pop-up will appear where Canva asks for your permission to log into your Google account to connect it to Canva. You can proceed if you're okay with it. I'm just going to close that because I'm not going to be doing that today. And yeah, once you're done working on the data, we're going to talk about the design or the appearance of our pie chart. By the way, if you click the uh, settings button over here, you'll see an option to format your values as either percentages or numbers. Uh, as for me, I'd like to display mine as percentages for now. And you'll also have the option to either hide your labels or show your labels. Okay, now on the toolbar above, let's move on to it. Uh, on the toolbar, you'll see different color buttons. So in case you want to change your chart's colors, just click on these buttons and change it to whatever color you like. Let's try it out. This one. This one. This one. This one and this one. Okay. There you have it. But I think I was happy with the original, so I'm going to change it back. There, I like it better. <laughs> All right. You can also change your text's font by going to this font button over here. You can scroll down to choose whatever font you'd like to use, or you can input specific styles or the exact name of a font right here on the search bar. For example, I'm going to look for something. Amatic, for example, that's it. And yeah, 
it's over here but it's yeah very hard to see so i'm gonna undo it and apart from specific fonts canva also has these preset styles here that you can use to search for specific um texts that belong to these categories say for example handwriting all the fonts that will load up here are categorized as handwriting style so yeah and for our text size you can change it over here and then you can change your text color over here and depending on what font you're using you'll have the option to turn your font into bold italics or even underline and if you're creating a video or a presentation then this animate um, button right here or animate feature would be really helpful or of use because it'll add simple yet very nice animated effects to your element as well as to your pie chart so you can actually adjust um, you can actually adjust each of these you can adjust the direction for example whether you'd like to animate it upon entrance or upon exit or both and you can also adjust its speed just like that okay so perhaps this one would do and now let's talk about bar charts i'm just gonna move this over here and now we're gonna talk about bar charts so once again we're gonna click on a slash button or a control plus e on our keyboard and then now we're gonna type in chart again and this time we're gonna select bar chart okay so here is our beautiful bar chart so basically all the things that you could do on your pie chart are the same things that you can do on your line chart but on the toolbar above you'll be able to see new buttons so the first one is spacing and the second one is roundness so let's try them out for spacing if we click on it we'll be able to see this slider over here and if we adjust it you'll notice that our yeah the more we slide to the right the farther our bars are, are apart from each other and the more we move to the left the nearer they are to each other so you can adjust the slider over here or you can input exact values over here according to your preferences and the next we have roundness so roundness once again you'll be able to see this slider over here the more you slide to the right the rounder the um, edges will be of your bars but the more you adjust to the left the sharper the bars will look i think the round bars look really nice i guess i'm going to keep it to 100 or 75 for example or maybe 50 65 75 is good yeah <laughs> i like to experiment and yeah i'm just gonna move that over here because most of the things that you can do on your pie chart are the same things you can do on your line chart as well can input data here edit your font your charts color just with additional two buttons now we're going to talk about the next one so we're going to press the slash button on our keyboard again or Control plus e type in chart one more time and click on line chart and there we go so the same things you can do on your pie chart are the same things you can do on your line chart as well but there are three additional buttons on the toolbar above let's talk about these new buttons one by one let's start with this first button right here it's called the line weight so if we click on it we'll be able to see this slider over here 
And what it does is that the more we move it to the right, the thicker our line will be. And the more we move it to the left, yeah, the thinner our line will be, with zero being invisible at all, just dots. So I think for me, perhaps five is okay. It's not too thick and it's just visible. Now we're going to move on to the second new button, which is called the marker. We're going to click on it. And here we have the option to change our marker shape. So let's try them one by one. The default one is the circle one. Let's try the square one. Square one. And then the diamond one. Maybe we can make it bigger so we can see it. By the way, the marker size right here adjusts the size of your marker. You can also input specific values over here. Let's try the triangular one and the star one. As for me, I prefer the circle one. It looks minimalist yet very visually appealing for some reason. And I'd like to keep it to about 15. It's not too overwhelming. I think it's just enough. So, yep, I'll stick with that. And the, um, the final one, or the last button right here, is the smoothing button. And as you see, once I clicked on it, it turned my line into a smooth curve. And if you want to turn off that smooth curve, you can click on this smoothing button again. And it'll turn back into... A line. Smooth? Not smooth. Yep. <laughs> and that's basically it. So, yeah, what is there to talk about? I think that's all that there is. So, yeah, I think that would be all for today's video. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.